everyone welcome back to another video i want to start by thanking you for watching this video if you're enjoying this content please like and subscribe in today's video i will be starting my seeds for this year's gardening season some of the plants that i will be starting are tomatoes peppers basil marigolds lupine comb flowers and many more I hope this inspires you to start your own seeds indoors. Let's get started and I hope you enjoy the video. Okay, now that I'm sitting down here, I got my little thing of dirt here. And I wanted to talk about these new seed trays that I got. The reason why I decided to buy a new type of seed tray this year is because I really wanted six cells because I, last year I had seed sprouted in nine cell seed trays, which honestly kind of makes for too many of some plants. I don't need that many, uh, but these ones are very similar to the ones that Epic Gardening sells. Uh, the ones that Epic Gardening sells, they advertise that you can stand on them. I've seen them do it, but these ones are not quite as strong, but they're still a pretty good value. I really wanted the Epic Gardening ones because they also have a four cell, but unfortunately they wanted... 50% of what it cost to buy the items, which was like already $200 to ship it to Canada from California, which is absolutely insane. Um, these things are not that heavy. They're, they shouldn't cost that much. I ended up finding these particular ones. Uh, they're made by a company in the U.S. called Bootstrap Farmer. But there's a company in the Kitchener-Waterloo, Cambridge area here in Ontario that sells these for them. Their name is Indoor Farmer, so go ahead and check out their website. They sell a lot of good type of stuff. And yeah, let's let's get into spreading these seeds. I only got two different packets of seeds here. Uh, we'll put them down here on the tray so you can see what they are. So we had those Tango Celery and the Apricot Mix Foxglove. Both of these seed packets here are ones that have to be sprouted indoors 12 to 10 weeks before planting date. So I'm going to go ahead and do these now as it is now the 4th of March 2023. Um, I'm going to set these aside here, grab my bowl of soil, and I'm going to show you guys the method that I prefer to do this. So I'm just going to grab my soil here. Any mess that I make I'm just going to clean up afterwards. But I'm just going to fill these little seed uh, trays almost to the top. Not quite but almost. Pack them down a little bit, not too much, just gently with your finger. Dump the excess in here. So that's pretty good. Well, take a little bit more off. Put that one to the side and then we'll move on to the next one. Any mess that I make here I'm just going to clean up afterwards. Unfortunately where I live it's not possible to do this type of thing outside um, as it's still winter here and will be for a little bit longer. We actually just got a huge dumping of snow last night probably six to eight inches and it's super heavy snow that was very difficult to, to shovel. Just emptying a little bit more of this soil out here. All right, so those are filled with soil now. I'm going to do the first one here, which is the celery. I've never grown celery before, and I'm very excited to do so. I'm probably going to grow at least four or five of them. All right, so now what we want to do is read the back of the packet. It said to plant them, sow seeds at a depth of three millimeters, which is also an eighth of an inch. Uh, celery prefers cool, moist conditions, so be sure to maintain even moisture throughout the the summer, especially in a hot, dry weather. 
To harden off plants, reduce water for one week. Plants may be planted outdoors two to three weeks before last frost. But I'm not going to do that. I don't like to risk that. All right. There's actually another little tiny seed packet inside of here. So these ones here. I'm just going to use my seed packet in front of me here. Just to try to pour a few of them out on there. There should be more than enough. It's probably about half of them. What I'm actually going to do is I'm going to take about three or four of these on my finger here. Maybe a little bit more. There's probably about five in there actually. I'm going to do that in each one. It doesn't matter if all four of them sprout up because I'll just thin them out afterwards. But this just increases your chances of the plant actually growing in every cell if you do multiple seeds in each cell. I'm just going to put the rest of these seeds that are the excess here away. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to push these down just a tad. Not too much, just gently. Just to push them down a little bit so that they're nice and well in there. And then I'm going to grab these, a little bit more of this dirt, and I'm just going to sprinkle over top. Alright, now the celery is done, I will move on to the next one. And after off camera here, I will actually water these. These ones, uh, I'm actually just going to pour these into my hands instead, because these ones are actually even smaller than the other ones. I'm not even going to count these ones, I'm just going to put a few in there, in each one. Alright, so those are in there now, just uh, time for the sprinkle. Alright, so we're all set there now. I after I water these off camera, what I'm just going to do is just going to put them over there to the side right behind where the camera is. That is where I have my sprouting rig. Uh, it's just a whole bunch of uh, sun blaster lights and uh, I have some domes as well. So these ones are going to have, I think, I think it's a seven inch dome with the light sitting on top of them for a while so they can get some heat.
Saturday.